Yeah, of carbon cation stability, uh, primary, secondary, tertiary carbon cation. What is it really about? This is going to be very imperative when, and it's very important when we start talking about reactions in organic chemistry. And it so happens that a tertiary alkyl, uh, well, a tertiary carbon cation is always more stable than a secondary. A secondary is more stable than a primary, right? So keep that in mind. So how would we label uh, this carbon cation? Is it primary, secondary, or tertiary? In this case, this carbon cation will actually be a secondary carbon cation. And this is how we denote it by two prime, basically. It's secondary because on the carbon that has the plus charge, it has one hydrogen attached to it. And this is how I usually think of these type of stuff. And train your brain to think of a uh, carbon cation as having one, two, or, or, zero, or, none, or zero hydrogen. And the reason why you want to think of it in terms of hydrogen is because when we start talking about substitution or elimination reaction and how open the, the carbon cation is to attack, that will give you a better cue in terms of hydrogen and spacing of whether it's going to go substitution, SN1E2, all that good stuff, right? So when a carbon cation has only one hydrogen attached to it, it is secondary. How about this one? Well, the, the, well, the plus charge is on the C here that has two hydrogen bonded to it. Anytime you have a carbon with a plus charge with two hydrogen bonded to it, that is a primary carbon cation. How about this one? Well, you could see that we are we have a uh, you can see that we have a carbon cation with no hydrogens bonded to it, right? You have this methyl group here, and it has a plus charge, which means that it only has three bonds, so it's missing one of those uh, missing two uh, missing uh, two electrons, right? All right, it's missing a bond, so the hydrogen is not there, so there's no hydrogen here. So this is what we classify as a tertiary carbon cation. Right. How about this one? Well, again, there's no hydrogen bonded here. So this is also a tertiary carbon cation. Right. And you could also think of it in terms of carbon. But the reason why I do not like to think of it in terms of and you want to train your brain and think of it, thinking of it in terms of hydrogen is because it's going to become important when you start talking about substitution and elimination reactions. Right. So one could look at this and say, OK, well, this carbon is bonded to one, two, three carbon. Therefore, it's tertiary. You know, they could look at this one and says, OK, well, this carbon is bonded to one carbon. Right. So it's uh, primary. And they could say, OK, well, this carbon is bonded to one carbon, two carbon, which is secondary. And certainly that's a good way of thinking of it. However, I like to train myself of thinking of it in terms of hydrogen because it makes uh, it will train your brain to be, become better at uh, substitution elimination reactions. So out of these four molecules here, which one will be the more stable and which one will be the least stable? All right, so suppose we have something like this, right? Uh, where this, where this is the least stable. And this is the most stable, right? So this is the most stable, right? How would we, uh, obviously we have A, B, C, D. How would we label which one is the most stable? Uh, this one is more stable than this. This is more stable than this. Uh, uh, and this is the least stable, right? Well, which one will be the least stable? Well, again, we always say a primary is the least stable. So B is actually the least stable, right? Remember we said tertiary is the more stable compound, right? So which one is kind of not more stable, but kind of fits right above B, right? So which one is greater than, uh, greater than B, but is less than something? Well, again, the next one that would form, form, fall in line is A, right? Because that is a secondary carbon cation and we say the secondary carbon cation is more stable than a tertiary uh, than a primary carbon cation. So which one comes after that? Well, we have two uh, tertiary carbon cation. So which one will be the most most stable, and which one will be just below that? Right. It so happens that D 
this one here will be more stable and obviously this will fall right here right there right and the reason why d is more stable than c is because you could imagine you could flip the stove bond over here and get this plus charge over here so the reason why d is more stable than c even though they're both tertiary carbon cation is because this could participate in resonance and that's very important 